This video will give you an overview of the Workbench area of Composer Pro using one of the sample books that comes with the app. On the My Books screen, touch the image of the sample book to open that book in the Workbench area. This is the Workbench area where you will create your book map. You can use the Pinch In and Pinch Out gestures to zoom in and out on the Workbench. This is useful if you want to see the objects that lie outside the viewable area. You can zoom in to align your objects on your page. If you want to change how large or small the grid settings are, go to your book settings menu and scroll down. Touch grid distance and the keyboard will appear so you can enter a new value. The grid distance is measured in pixels. Touch the workbench area to make any menu disappear. At the bottom of the workbench area are all the pages in your book. The index page is a special page that can be displayed on command using the show index behavior. If you want to use the index page, it is a good way to allow your reader to go to any page in your book. The master page will display those objects over every page in your book except the cover. This is very useful for navigation items. The cover page is the first page the reader will see after the launch image. You can have as many pages in your book app as you need. To add a page, touch the Add Page button in the lower right corner. A new page icon will show up at the bottom of the workbench. To change the order of your pages, touch the Organize button in the bottom right corner. You can now touch and drag any page icon into the order you need. You can access all of your pages by swiping right and left on the page icons. To delete a page, touch the Organize button in the bottom right and then touch the red circle on the page icon of the page you want to remove. When you touch the green triangle preview button in the top right corner, you will see the page that displayed on the workbench. Magnus the Magnetic Dog. You can now use your app as if you were a reader. Touching the red square in the top right corner will end the preview mode and display the workbench again. You can position the objects on the workbench by moving them with your finger. If you move an object accidentally, you can use the undo arrow at the top of the screen to place it back in the position where it used to be. The other controls in the top right of the workbench area allow you to add and manipulate assets and create behaviors. The plus icon will display the add window. This lets you add images, animations, text, and video to your page. The shapes icon will display a list of all the objects on the current page. If you have selected the page and touched the circle eye icon, you will see the inspector window for that page. The inspector window gives you information about the page settings and what behaviors are associated with that page. If you select an object and then touch the circle eye icon, you will see the inspector window for that specific object. The object inspector displays settings and properties as well as behaviors associated with that object. The lightning icon will display the effects window. If you have an object selected, you will see physics, behaviors, and audio options. Physics only work on individual objects. If you have a page selected, the effects window will only show behaviors and audio. More details about using Demibooks Composer Pro can be found in the user guide and other videos.